What's going on, everybody? Um, I got Dad's truck and trailer in today. Yes, it's in the paint booth. No, we're not painting anything on it. It's just really cold out today, and I can fit the whole thing in here. It's really nice. I got Zach back there replacing all four mud flaps on the back of the trailer. Then I am installing this shifter extension. Well, it's really the entire shifter um, rod, stem. I don't know what you'd call it shifter replacing the whole thing so that's gonna look cool we did that in the last video so i'm not gonna really video that uh, i'm sure you guys don't want to see that again but we'll go back to the back of the trailer and see what's going on back here it's getting four new mud flaps he ripped one off and one of his other ones had a tear in it or something so we're gonna go ahead and just replace them all with some three quarter inch cow mat i see zach's already got a couple lined up that he's put together and they're ready to be mounted so we're gonna get those mounted and then we're gonna get to work on the great dane which is back out of the shop right now but we're gonna pull that thing in and pull the bogey out today okay i know i said i wasn't gonna show anything about this shifter but in the last video if you guys watched it you got to see me struggle forever on the bottom side taking the bolt out that goes through there to hold your shifter down and you put two little isolator bushings in there when you tighten it down. Um, I couldn't take this big cover off on the last one because we left it off and carpeted it right over it so it would be all nice and smooth and flush and you wouldn't have that um, plastic bump up, which makes it more work for me in the future, but oh well, I still got the job done. This one I was able to take it off so I wouldn't have to go under there and struggle taking that bolt, bolt out. But when I got this cover off, I found out there's no bolt in it to begin with. Look at that. Now, we've never had this transmission out or anything since we bought this truck, so no, that was not me. I did not forget to put that bolt in. Wouldn't be surprised if it was. Just kidding. I would. Ne My only concern is now that somebody tried to replace this once before and they couldn't get it up, out. So it might come out hard. Either way, it's kind of funny that that bolt's completely missing. Like, imagine you're shifting, your shifter just pops out or something. <laughs> I gotta get this job done. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do on this trailer is remove this bogey, which I'm gonna start by unhooking the air lines right there. And I'm gonna put a fitting on the one end so I can hook up my shop air to it and release the brakes. That way I can also pull this button right here, which will pull in all the pins so that way it could slide. And then I gotta take out, there's two bolts there holding that clip on, and there's four of those. So we just gotta take out two, four, six, eight bolts. And we'll stick two of my lifts in the back underneath the um, bumper, and we'll lift the trailer up, and we'll just roll this right out the side. It's gonna be super simple, let's get, let's get right into it. Hoses are unhooked, I got my um, thing here with a valve on so I can hook it up to my shop air so I can kind of control what I'm doing. I just gotta draw out these rivets here and unhook the cord and we'll be good to go. Well, doggone it. I thought I'd be slick. Those floor jacks fit perfectly under that back bumper. So I thought maybe if I just slid those under instead of putting an actual lift under it, I could just dump the air and it would give me enough clearance, but it's just so not enough. Um, which kind of sucks because that means I'm still going to have to get a lift out here. But uh, dang it, everything was going so smooth. 
these things, they, they claim they're so smart, but it doesn't even realize it's picking up the back of a trailer. I mean, come on. Now, yes, I could have just used a floor jack and put like a block in the center and lifted it up, but I'll just lift it with this because it'll be definitely a lot more stable for us to um, work underneath this trailer the rest of the day. <laughs> Watch it bend the bumper. There we go. Now I can work with that. bit of soapy water on the floor here and we're just gonna pivot this back end out and then we'll just push it back and forth and roll it out of here real easily or at least that's the plan I'm in here alone today so this um this ain't gonna be hard at all before I hook the chain up I should have moved this radiator because I put that right in the way too but we're just gonna deal That just makes it easier to pull. It gets on that soapy water. Like I said, I'm gonna slide that back end out and then I'm just gonna work it back and forth till I get it out. bogey's out um the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to spin all these little countersunk bolts out of the um slide plate or whatever you want to call that because i'm going to sandblast this and i want to sandblast the teflon and i also don't want paint on the teflon because then it makes it sticky and it doesn't slide as nice so we'll peel those strips off and take off the wheels and tires put on some old wheels and tires get outside get it set up for jordan to sandblast oh and the mud flaps need to come off so yeah it's moving along quite nicely <laughs> 